Hydrogen is one of the most abundant elements in the universe. When it's burnt or used, it produces the energy, but no carbon dioxide. Hydrogen has been used in industry for hundreds of years, but hydrogen now has new options by which it can be manufactured and many, many different means by which it can be used to assist with the enormous challenge we have in decarbonising the world's economy. Future Fuels CRC has a long association with Deakin University. Deakin as a university is very much focused on the applied end of research. Hydrogen has moved beyond being a research curiosity. It has enormous potential to be a real central theme of how we approach our climate change objectives. In order to do that, industry has to be not only involved, but indeed create the environment in which that commercial product exists. The research will underpin that. My name is Nolene Byrne and I'm an Associate Professor at Deakin University. The main motivation behind this research is really to understand what is the compatibility of our current infrastructure with hydrogen. The Future Fuels Cooperative Research Centre and Deakin, uh, working together, are developing what are known as the hydrogen test beds or the hydrogen sand pit. This is a project that is essential to move Australia beyond the current hydrogen research. The majority of our gas distribution network is made up of plastic pipes. We use polyethylene pipes, we use PVC pipes and we also use nylon pipes. Within this hydrogen test demonstration bed, we will have all of those pipes as well as all of the different joining methods that we use. The end goal is to be able to report to our industry partners, the asset owners, how do their infrastructure respond to hydrogen. If we're going to run a hydrogen network safely and be able to show that it's safe, obviously you need to be able to show that the network doesn't break down at a faster rate. So that when our operations staff are out in the field doing the work that they need to do, making new connections, checking the network. The assets that are there are as safe with hydrogen as they are with natural gas. At this stage, what we're looking to do is confirm, uh, along with Deakin, whether int the introduction of hydrogen into the existing gas infrastructure is going to cause any safety concerns. From there, we'll be able to look into emergency management and any of the procedures and policies that follow out of that. The opportunity for the South West is an immediate training opportunity there to have specialists who will be in high demand and we're already seeing that uh, across Australia. What's really important to understand with hydrogen and its interlink with renewable energy that would be used to produce it, it can be done at the enormous scales that are necessary to make this very real. Australia is in a unique position in hydrogen with enormous natural advantage such as our wind and solar conditions, our location to Asia, but most importantly the enormous amount of human capital that we have in Australia. The attractiveness for new industry, new jobs and new wealth creation is enormous. 